Hi everyone, today I am talking about how to use your crystals. I use them in many ways, they're scattered about my house, but what I really mean is how to set intention and program your crystal. I do want to say if you're a beginner, a noob to crystals, I was too, I had to start somewhere, I didn't grow my collection overnight, and whatever awareness level you're on with the crystals is whatever healing you're receiving. So. I do have to say, when it when I started putting them around my house, I was buying them because they were beautiful. And I did recognize they had metaphysical properties and that sort of thing, but first and foremost, they were pretty. And that alone brought me daily pleasure. And so that was the benefit I received. I did also start carrying them in my pockets and use them as like a, a reminder and this token of, oh yeah, this one's for anxiety in my pocket, I'm gonna be fine. And I kind of only carried them on like certain days and like if I had a big thing coming up, but now they're my allies every day. And so if you're really wanting to use crystals as your ally and maximize this tool, I would recommend setting intention with them. And I'll show you how I do that with my mala as well. So as you know, maybe, Crystals are part of nature. They have this solid crystalline structure and they are so steady in their vibrations and their metaphysical properties that when we hold them, which we're a little bit more fluid, as humans, our energy fields are much more flexible and um, uh, impressionable. So holding a crystal alone and carrying it is healing. It, it transfers the energy, but if you can set intention with it, it's that much better. So I use what I already know about the crystal um, and I ask to enhance those properties. So this is my Blue Appetite. It's great for the throat and the third eye chakras, psychic abilities, communication and clarity, um, honing your creativity, that sort of thing. And I really love using it for its psychic abilities. So whenever I switch crystals or charge them, pick, pick up a new one, um, change my focus, whatever it is, pretty much anytime I'm holding a crystal, I reprogram it or I strengthen the intention I've already set with it. And so because this one is so great at vision work and dreams and, um, clarity, I love to use this as an entrepreneur, as a business owner to plan my content and um, help me to communicate with my audience. So when I pick this up, I'm usually taking a bath and I ask it, Blue Appetite, you're so beautiful. I usually like forget how beautiful it is while it's in my hand and I say, I believe in your abilities to help me draw out what it is that I need to communicate to my audience. And so as I create this new program, I'm asking you to guide me and to um, send the wisdom and energy needed to inspire me and inspire my audience. And I might say, I'm going to be placing you under my pillow. And so during my dream time, I ask that um, you will send me visions of what it is that will be important to communicate or you know, whatever, that's just an example. And so it is, thank you. Each time I'm with this crystal, I know it's working in the highest way, in the highest good for myself because I've asked it to. Um, it's just like anything, when you just kind of expect your boyfriend to know what to do without asking him, maybe or maybe not, that doesn't happen. But when you ask and you are clear, then those things come to you. So that's kind of how I work with my crystals individually. Um, but also malas, if you're not familiar, often made of stones. Um, and they have 108 beads and this is great for setting intention as well. So I usually find a mantra that I'm working with and you go around and say it with each bead. And I'm on video, so it's a little bit awkward, but typically I'd be in ceremony meditating, having a moment with myself. Um, since I was just talking about clarity with this one, it would be something like, I see clearly, I am visionary. I see clearly, I am visionary, and so on and so forth. And so after I move all the way through the mall and then place it back over my head, it's like magic. It feels different. The energy is different, which is what I'm trying to talk about here. This is all energy work. So. If you're not into that, this might not be the video for you, but if you're able to open up and be willing to receive the subtle um, shifts of energy that these stones and beautiful structures can bring to you, then I recommend setting intentions with them. 
So that's the video. I would love to know what stones you're into, what's on your wish list, what intentions you'd like to set with them, so on and so forth. I just love to connect because I like talking crystals. So I hope you enjoyed and until next time, big love.